I'm still here. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Indeed that you are. Let's go. Oh, what is... anything good? What can I do for you? Do you need some? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. Let's see what you have. I think there's gonna be one of those uh, boring episodes where I'm gonna travel around, you know, all the cities that I've explored to sell shit.
Where do you want to go? Climb and back, and we'll be off. If you don't mind a piece of advice, stay out of trouble in Markar. They'll toss you in the Sidna mine. Do you need something? This better not be all the things you just can't be bothered with. Stopped. What is it? I am sworn to carry your burdens. Let's go. Just a tiny bit too heavy. Let's see if I can uh, summon your horse in the city. One of the guards said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sijic monks. Man's been hidden in the school of Isaac. out of Sidna mine with those four sworn. Do you have any idea how many died? You Bloody is take a look. In the reach. If you need a new ring or necklace. Mm -hmm. Can't believe Madanak is on the loose again. Ah, oh, there it is. This little gold delight is going to keep us afloat for a while. Thank you. Here's something for your hard work. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that.
bought it. God damn it. That wasn't on the to-do list. Oh well. Come back whenever you need something. I really miss mods. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. Redguard craftsmanship in every case. I need a house with lots and lots of mannequins. So I can, you know, show off every bit of armor that I can make, basically. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. I saw you. Forsworn rampage. Drink for the thirsty, food for the hungry. This is the Silverblood. Sure thing, it's yours for a day. Day at the smelter room. Right. Mm -hmm. mm hmm. I've been working with you for over ten years, and all you have to say is mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sometimes I think we deserve these miserable lives of ours. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Unlike my husband, Klepper, I watch after our guests. My father, Klepper, is the one you want to talk to. I just clean up. Why can't the man in this city leave me alone? Hey, coming home. He's all fighting, Dara, with the Stormcloaks. He'll return when the war is over. Our huh? son joining the storm. A man like me makes a lot of envy. People are always trying to cheat me. Did you need something? Yourself, you can deal some damage. I'm still here. I am. 
am sworn to carry your burdens. thing to sell the potions so many potions still need two daedra hearts one for my gauntlets one for the boots well three actually four I also need a sword clean one no enchantments as well as a shield. Well, take a look. Got some deed rods? You do. Only one though. But that's the boots. Got some potions of strength. Now, you let me know if you need a cure. We've stopped. What is it? I am sworn to carry your burdens. No death bell though, which is a bit surprising. Lead on then. to Riften. We'll do so by uh, cart, so it will cost me a bit of gold to make some bad. It's not much gold, especially in, in my case, but... Traveling in 
Where do you want to go? Riften, my good sir. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Get up there. They should have made, you know, the car traveling a bit more expensive. Like 200 gold pieces, something like that. 200 gold pieces would be fair, you know. Five trips equal to one horse, it's fair. 20 gold, not so much. Mr. Vampires. I should have come here. I don't have time for this, goddammit. Vampire. The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. Middle roads lead you to warm sands. Hmm? Hey, you sent weapons? You sell some shit? The roads of Skyrim lead to many dangers. So many take a look. Indeed. Hey. Hey. Listen. He's enjoying his freedom for a bit. Let's first go to the alchemist shop. I'm kind of busy, but if you need any potions or you're here for let take a look. Take a look. At least you have that bells. Which 
means I can finally pray to the almighty pyrite. Yes, yes, goodbye. We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you. I've never seen you. A fine day to you, Set friend. Up. May you die with a sword in your hands. I see, I still have much to learn. Lead on. I still enjoying his freedom. You gonna buy just what you see here? Not much, eh? really need emergent perks. Beautiful Come back when you're ready to spend more gold. Gemstones over here. Shop. Do you need something? This must be that beautiful Skyrim weather I've always heard about. Welcome to the Pond Frog. Come on in, take a look around. Welcome to the... Take a look. Yes? If you think it'll help.
And OBS fucked itself again. You gotta love program with a will of its own. At least in my case. It's annoying as fuck though. Thanks again for delivering that ore sample. No props. now all right let's see what you have about five slowly but officially I'm losing weight so uh, let's use another potion the lowest that I can find let's go to the thieves guild Divine smile on you, friend. You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap me? Looking to stay alive? Why take a chance? Oh, anything good? So, you're bringing your Pull up a seat. Are you bloody serious? You're not going to get ahead by quitting a bad time. Brynjolf's been getting onto me about money. This brilliant soul decided to pick a fight with a fellow guildmate. Time for them to pay the piper. Will you help that?
fishing, ain't that big pockets? Find me if you're ever looking for some extra coin. Out with it. Didn't muck it up, I hear. Good. Here's your share. I bet you are. Which one do you want? Every now and again, we like to remind the shopkeepers that we're in charge. If that means breaking into their strong boxes and stealing something valuable from them, then so be it. Feel like doing a bit of shopping? The guild way? All right, take this and get out of here. Still up, looking for work. Bad time. We got ourselves a freelancer. Thinks he can muscle in on our territory. How about you teach him some manners, eh? Keep this up, and you'll be rich enough to retire before you know it. Good luck. Already am. Rich, that is. Oh, I was afraid of that. Fishing is pickpockets. My carriage is not really good in pickpockets. So, you're Brynjolf's new protege. Last uh, time I tried to do that, I had 0% chance to pickpocket the uh, item that I needed. It's one thing to say you've got the skills to be a thief. Welcome to the cozy little usual life. guild rate. Let's take a look at them. Time to make me some money. Mm, give me some gold, even though I have quite a bit of gold I might add. I've got all sorts. Take a look. Really? Oh, uh, all that buying for no reason. Mm -hmm. Oh well, you gotta use good for gold for something. Yes. If you think it'll help. Not really. Well, that was uh, not really worth the spending, but I can miss it. Never go wrong with a war. Even if you're one of us, you better not make trouble. I'm gonna make tons of trouble. Smithing I will not reset until I have learned everything. 
crafted everything at least twice, preferably about a bit more, about uh, four or five armor pieces of each set that I can craft. So I can, you know, should I ever find, let's say, you know, I have a um, elf, a Thalmor, I'm gonna give him the elven equipment, because he's elvish, you know. All the orc companions will get orc equipment, you get the drill. But uh, as long as my enchanting is not 100% maxed out in getting myself perfect, perfect, perfect enchantments for my character, both in smithing, on my uh, smithing capabilities, my uh, cooking outfit will contain alchemist capabilities and once all the armors have been made the enchantments have been made all my companions will have their individual enchantments I will reset it just to get their points back because you know smithing is capable basically useless I only train it to reset it later due to crafting slash collecting I like to collect so uh, no resetting of that one yet now th when it comes to my character build there are two things that you have to look forward to you know there are the major skills and the minor skills i know it's a bit late to explain but the minor skills are you know capabilities like alchemy to earn gold smithing to collect gear to equip gear on both of yourself as well as your companions you know and enchanting to give each of those companions certain you know enchantments for Serena for example destruction magic would be a good enchantment for her entire gear or for yourself disease immunity to 100% or you know things like that but that does mean now once that has been done, smithing will be resetted to legendary 1, enchanting will be resetted to legendary 1, alchemy is no way, no point in, you know, spending the learning points into it. Now there was one, I did spend a bit, you know, just to make a bit more money, but it also backfires because, you know, merchants don't have that much gold. And if your potions are two, three hundred gold pieces each, they can buy much. So it's kind of pointless this one. But uh, whatever, I'm just gonna train it to get it to minor, you know, minor skills set because all my minor skills will be at least legendary one or higher. My major skills will be majority higher. It depends on what it is. Archery I use a lot, so I reset that a lot same with one-handed weapon block you know block is relatively hard to train and therefore I only reset it at once train it again and then it's done you know heavy arm is already once now I only have to get it back to 100 and then I will not reset it again because it's pointless to reset it basically you know it does more harm than than good well, enough of that. Well, my major skills are, you know, you can all, you've already seen them most likely in the description of uh, ev every single video from the beginning to the end. Each character will have a certain build. This guy is a warrior, a tank of some sorts, and therefore he fights with one-handed and shield. My, let's say, Dark Elf will be more of a Necromage-like mage in general, purely build mage, you know. Whether light or heavy armor, I don't know yet, but every character, every race within the game will have his own playthrough, some way. Touché! I have been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A note from someone named Calselmo in Markarth. Looks like that's it. Got to go. What does that old fool want? But 
eventually, just like Gothic, just like Risen, all options will be done. Now, in Skyrim's case, that's dependent on the race, you know. This guy is a Lord, then you've got the Khajiits, then you've got the High Elves, the Bretons, the Red Gods, etc. All of which will have their own individual built. A time to get myself a soul. Even though I was about to, you know, end the episode basically. Guard said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Then it was one of those psychic monks. Yeah, he's on Skuma, I get it. Skuma, I see. Yes. Alright, let's see what you have. Let's get going. I am sworn to carry your burdens. Already full. Holy shit. Holy shit, man. Why don't you wear the coat? Um, still got quite a bit to sell, actually. Holy shit. Well, I guess I have to go back to the uh, blacksmith person. Uh, did I just take his shield? I think I did. Just give me a small second here. Well, first I have to go back to the Thieves' Guild then. Lead on then. Why the Thieves' Guild? Well, because I overspent it there. I could use to go back. Well, not really. I don't really need it, but I don't need all this junk either. So I prefer to have a bit of gold in my pockets. So we'll save here and then we're gonna continue in the next episode with selling. Like I said, you know, it's uh, quite annoying to do, but sometimes you just have to. Sadly but true. See you guys in the next one.